Hi, this is Shamini with Abby Film Company and I am showing you a tour of all of our equipment that we use. This is my number two lens. It's the 100mm macro lens from Canon. The aperture is uh, 2.8 and it's an L-series lens. You can always tell with that red little thing there which means that the glass is fluorite. Um, I talk more about fluorite in my video about 35mm but long story short, fluorite is a type of crystal. It's not just glass. Um, this lens is so beautiful. It's not super versatile, so I don't use it um, as often as I use my 35, which is my main lens. But this comes with me on shoots because it lets me do magical things. So um, it's a macro lens. A lot of people use it for um, detail shots at weddings, like close-ups on the rings. Um, photographing flowers or writing on a wedding invitation. Since we photograph families, I use it for um, you know, photographing little kids' eyelashes or focusing on a newborn baby's fingernails. Um, if it's a birthday party, I'll use it to photograph the cake. Like anything that's close in details that you want to really see close up, this is what this does. Um, People often say don't use it for portraits, and I totally disagree. I'm 100% about using this for portraits, and I don't really use them for candid portraits because it takes a little while to focus. Like my 35 millimeter, I just pointed at something and it takes the picture. With this, it'll be like, and you're like, come on. So I never use it when I'm like, there's action happening because it can't keep up and I miss important moments. But if I know that I'm just gonna have the family stand there and smile at me, then I'll use this one because the quality of the picture is so crisp and the background is so blurry and um, it just creates this very elegant, very professional looking photo. Uh, very opposite end of the spectrum to your phone. Like your phone can take amazing pictures, but this one is like, that was taken on a professional camera. Um, and th the lens is what kind of can create that difference in appearance. Um, I do find that sometimes the, the focus is kind of the downside, but it's, I say it's a downside just as like a warning, but it is not enough of a downside that, it, that I wouldn't get rid of it. I love it. Um, it just requires that um, I have time and patience and I, I can learn to focus it and spin it in. Uh, in terms of video, sometimes I will take video, but I have to be very careful because the movement is very sensitive. It'll notice any shake that takes place in my hands. So I just have to lock in and be still and move as slowly as possible. Um, a lot of the time I will stabilize by putting the camera up against like a wall or something and then rolling it down, which also changes the focus because the focus ring will spin. If I don't want it to spin, then I'll do it on the soft spot of the camera where there's no focus ring. Um, yeah, so I recommend this. It's, uh, I recommend it if you want to take more details, if you're focusing more mainly on babies and little things that have little features, um, and if you want to take pictures that are very creamy and, and elegant looking, um, and you have the time. It's an expensive lens. I invested in it when I shot weddings. I, I don't know if I would invest in it if I were starting off and... Um, had a tight budget, I wouldn't actually. And uh, if I were just doing family portraits, it's not essential for family portraits, that's the point. I think it's essential for weddings. Uh, it's a luxury that I have as a leftover from my wedding days.